Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Black. Last episode, we arrived at Driftville City, and today we're going to find Team Plasma, who should should be around here somewhere. Now, this is our first time exploring the city, so let's get this started. The old guy on Route 6 is searching for a legendary Pokemon. If you're interested, go talk to him. Well, that's pretty neat. Let's go inside this little church-looking thing, and let's see what's up. Do you think all the people in the world can understand one another? Yeah. See, I think so too. Alright, so these people are just here. I'm not going to talk to every single one of them because I don't see the point of that. Um, but today we are going to find Team Plasma and they are doing something in this town. Now, I wonder what it is. Some kids are catching and training Pokemon close to the cold storage. Ah, the cold storage, which should be over here. So, we got the cold stars, but we got some few trainers here, so let's just battle them out. I'm probably not going to cut these out because, um, I think they have very few Pokemon, honestly. And I don't think they're worth cutting out. Like, this guy only has two, so it's all good. Um, alright, so he's going to start with the Whirlipede. I should... Nah, I don't think I need to switch. Uh, Whirlipede's a poison type. I think I could just kill this thing with a Sand Tomb, honestly. Um... Yeah, it's gonna go for Iron Defense, so... Hmm... It's not gonna do much damage to it, but... I guess? And then you go for Protect, which I don't see the point of anyways, because it's... Sand Tomb. Okay, um... I guess Assurance will do something, maybe? No? Okay. Oh, Bug Bite's a thing? Uh, I should probably switch out. I don't wanna kill Nixon. Okay, so I'm gonna switch out. Uh, let's see. Oh, I didn't even heal up. Wow, I'm so lame. Um, I was in the Pokemon Center and I didn't even heal up. GG. Oh, this thing's a bug poison type, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna get Cheeto and I'm going to... Okay, yeah. please don't poison Cheeto. Okay, good. Uh, Flamper should one-hit KO this thing, probably. Yeah, it's super effective. Alright, so it's a bug type. I always thought this thing was pure poison, but I guess. Okay, so he's gonna go for Cower Blast. I'm pretty sure that's that one Pokemon. It looks like a... Oh, never mind. Well, yeah. It looks like a wrench, actually. Um, let's kill this thing, and then we're done. Easy battle. Alright. Get all these XPs. Alright, let me heal up real quick. Um, I have some interesting stuff to tell you about, uh, guys. Um... Past few days, I've been working on pure All-Star Deathmatch. Sorry, there hasn't been any Pokemon-related um, stuff uploaded, honestly. I've been working on All-Star Deathmatch for a while. I'm already done with this season, actually. I have finished and fully completed the whole entire season of Season 3. And all we need now is pretty much just to upload them. I am uploading, uh, I think, at the time this is being recorded, I've already uploaded... Uh, Gandor versus Robin, but it's not, it's it's privatized until like the next day, which is Monday. I'm recording it. So, do you think Team Plasma could be in there? I don't like cold places, but we should ch have a check. What about it? All right, let's go inside. Maybe Team Plasma is in here. We don't know, but let's find out. All right, we got a place. Let's see what this is. Well, still, is there anything more important than strength for trainers? Like the champion said. Uh, oh, I'll never understand just by thinking about it. What a bother. Let's hurry up and check inside. I guess Sharon's right. But hey, right off the bat, we can get a quick uh, Pokeball. So it's a Netball, which is pretty good if you like catching water types. Um, we got a water type. He's our starter. But hey, let's just get on over here. And we have to fight a trainer. When it's cold, I like to wear glasses. Well, I don't care. Okay, so I was thinking of skipping this. I probably won't because, you know, these guys are all... Oops. They're all done. Oh, look, another Cheeto! Aw, that's cute. Hey, Cheeto too. Prepare to get sand tuned. Alright, so I'm pretty sure this thing will one-hit KO. And oh my god. Once I get a one-hit KO, Moxie comes into play. Nixon, you're too good. I'm sorry. Alright, Timber... Um, you know what? I'll try it out. I know I'm very weak against fighting, but I'll try it out, okay? And I missed. Okay, he didn't go for a fighting type move. That's pretty weird. He should have gone for the fighting type move. Um, so Santu should do a whole lot. And Rock Throw is not going to do anything, honestly. 
Okay, I don't see what I was worried about. This Pokemon's pretty easy, honestly. Um, nothing too threatening yet. But yeah, even a non-effective move killed it, so. And Moxie is still really OP. Oh, man. Alright, so we're good. Alright, so let's find our way up here. This dungeon isn't really that hard, honestly. Pretty much just gotta follow, like, a set path, so this shouldn't be too hard to do. Um, so here we have another trainer, Worker Glenn. Let's now pan for. Alright, so I can see the uh, pattern between these characters now. They have the one of the elemental monkeys, and... Uh, yeah, they pretty much have the monkeys. Okay, now I don't have a... Uh, crap. I don't have any super effective Pokemon on water types yet, but uh, I guess. Oh no, Assurance should kill this, okay. So yeah, here comes the Moxie. Goddamn, Moxie is such a great ability. Oh my god, Timber. Alright, you know what happened to that last Timber. But hey, maybe this one's not as stupid and it actually uses fighting type moves, so let's get the Sand Tomb. Alright. And that one hit KO'd with a crit. Amazingness. Can I please get a like from that? Oh my goodness. That was really nice. Okay. I warmed up, but I lost a battle. My heart is freezing. Yes, I know, man. Alright, so let's go this way, this way, uh, that way, this, that, this, and boom. See? Not a really hard dungeon, honestly. And I said dungeon. It's not a really hard dungeon. This guy's optional. You don't have to battle him. Um, I'm pretty sure you have to battle this guy. Yeah, he <laughs> challenged me. The best trainer is Ice-type Pokemon, the cold storage, that's me! Alright, he's the best trainer here. Alright, get good, son. Worker Patton. He's gonna send out Vanillite. Vanillite, it's not one Pokemon that looks like an ice cream cone. Now I'm craving some ice cream. Oh man. You know what? My favorite flavor ice cream has to be vanilla. I like vanilla ice cream. It's really nice. Not like the vanilla nowadays it's like there's like this type of ice cream flavor called uh, 1905 vanilla and i actually love it because it's so sweet it's so good and i freaking love that taste of it it's so nice um Santune should kill this thing now and i'm pretty sure the next pokemon is pretty much one hit ko i'm pretty sure it's a pan stage or was that the other guy i am not sure but uh timber no no the timber okay hopefully <laughs> we get another crit this thing will die instantly and we're good so, chip away, and oh, that's not, is it too perfective? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, well, we pretty much defeated this thing either way. Uh, it's all good. We beat him. Yeah. All right, Moxie, really helpful here. Thank you so much. All right, um, what should I do here? Okay. Ice heal, really nice. Thank you. Alright, I have a feeling we're going to battle somebody yet, uh, right now, so I am going to switch out Nixon, even though he's like our powerhouse right now. I'm going to switch him out, I'm going to give, uh, you know, I'm going to give Ric Flair some love right now. Um, let's see, alright. I'm going to give Ric Flair some love here, because uh, we're ready to battle, because uh, I feel like I've been using Nixon for like the past uh, episode, and... I gotta, I gotta use Ric Flair, because Ric Flair is just left out right now. So Ric Flair, you got some showtime. Alright. Uh, air Cutter, easy. See, this is pretty good. Okay. Come on. Oh, okay, low kick. Not gonna do so much on us, literally two damage. We're good. And he's gonna go for a bite, which is not gonna do anything. So, uh, it's pretty good. Alright. Ah, sorry, I drank some water there. Just to keep my voice perked. Perched, parched, whatever the word is. Okay, Vanillite. Um, not... Well, I'm a flying type, so it's pretty risky. Um, I'll go for the hard stamp. Whatever, let's see what this does. And uh, that's pretty good. Okay, we got the flinch, and it's done. Oh, alright. Pretty good. Alright. So we got to level 28. Let's gonna timber, and yep. We did pretty good. I think this battle is pretty much won. This should be an insta kill now. Alright, and we're done here. Goodbye. Alright, so Ric Flair had an amazing match, and it's all good. Woo! He's evolving! Oh my goodness! Ric Flair! The Nature Boy is evolving! I did not expect that after right when we get the Sooth Bell. He's evolving because he loves us. So yes, guys, uh, our Woobat is now becoming a Swoobat, and thinking about the name change, if I should name it something else, I think I'll just keep it as Ric Flair, because... 
So Ric Flair is now a Swoobat, which is pretty nice actually. So he's our second he's our second fully evolved Pokemon. That's pretty neat. Um That's so cool. Okay. So we got a hyper potion. You know, I actually did not expect uh Ric Flair to evolve here. Um I honestly thought he's gonna evolve some other time, but he, yeah, he evolved here, so yeah, voice crack. He evolved here and okay, so this Pokemon has Klutz, so it can't use any health items, but Soothe Bell, uh, Soothe Bell, I guess it's something, um, I'll just keep the Soothe Bell on it, whatever, I don't think, you know, they're really nice Pokemon. Alright, so let's do this dungeon here, and, oh, looks like they weren't here, uh, I went around the whole thing. Oh, wow, I'm so stupid, I completely missed this. Ah, there's someone in there, okay, let's go in. I did not see this, oh my goodness, I'm so bad. Okay, let's go inside here, and... Ah, so we see them having an orgy party here. All of you, huddle around me, I can't take this cold. Whatever, I can't believe you're really hiding. It's a bother of your cold, but shall I show you outside? Ah, the Pokemon are King's friends. While we're taking care of them, we can't let any harm come to them here. Everyone, drive them and treat these away. Drive them. Team Plasma understood. Zen's loin of the Seven Sages, and I just read Team Plasma. So we're gonna fight all of these guys. Uh, long live Team Plasma! All right, so we lost two Pokemon there, but hey, sorry about that. Pokemon that work with people may look like they're having the fun, but the truth is they're suffering. There's no doubt about it. Oh no! Hey, look, it's Clay. Well, I'll be hiding in a chilly old place like this. You guys take these Pokemon robbers. Roger. All right, we got these peeps. Come on. Ech. Ugh. Alright, so they all left. You guys ain't so bad. Yep, the promise is a promise. Come challenge my gym. Alright, whatever. We've seen Plasma's deal separating people and Pokemon. It's exactly the same as not having Pokemon in this world at all. That bunch is a waste of oxygen. Ruben, it's cold. I'm getting out of here. Alright, we could leave or we could get this Pokemon right here. So, God never melt ice. You know, if you had a Pokemon that uses ice moves, you can give it this item, um, that way it could have, uh, twice the attack damage on it, sorry. Um, so that'd be pretty good, and let's just get out of here, I think we battled everything here, except for that one trainer that I skipped. Sorry about that. Okay, so we're outies. Let's get out of here, and let's go find the gym. Alright. Clay, it's a pleasure to meet you. I am Jetasis of Team Plasma. I have to come to pick up my associates who are in your care. I don't need no thanks now. Your buddies were trying to steal some folk Pokemon. What's this? It seems that there has been some misunderstanding. We only free Pokemon from wicked people. Well, that sounds real nice, if it's true. I may not talk pretty, but at least I'm an honest man. You talk real nice, but what you're saying sounds like you're lying. So tell me, Plain, what are you trying to say? Team Plasma also has an interesting... Deflil City. And you've many more members besides who are here. Well, I can't tell if you're lying or not. But I reckon you have won this without a fight. Hmm, take them and get. A uh, decision worthy of a businessman with the Mighty King. Your grasp of the situation is outstanding. Well then, I'll be taking Lord Clog Leagues off your hands. I read that so weird. Uh, Jesus, thank you so much. Don't worry about it, my fellow servant of the king. We're two of the seven sages, are we not? Well then, everyone, I expect that we are blah 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 blah. We don't give a fuck. Okay. So I'll let Team Plasma go after you track him down. Say, why don't we clear ourselves up with a Pokemon battle? Don't keep me waiting. Alright, sounds good, man. Alright, well, we have way to fight in the middle of the city anyway. Still, I can't help but think that Jesus isn't an ordinary person. I'm off to go make my Pokemon stronger. I really don't want to lose to that clay guy. Actually, I'm going to win the gym badge my flawless victory. Alright, sounds good for you, uh, Charon. But hey, guys, I'm going to end the episode off here. So yes, next time on Pokemon Black, we are going to challenge the Driftville Gym. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.